Every breath you take, every move you make, every bond you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you. Oh, can't you see you belong to me? How my poor heart aches with every step you take. It's hard to believe Sting's most popular song, Every Breath You Take, will be 40 years old in 2023. It's also hard to believe that an angry song about jealousy and stalking an ex became such a popular love song. Listen to the song again. It's a dark take on the aftermath of infidelity, anger, and jealousy. Perhaps it's because people see the heartache and longing for one's attention part and overlook the stalking vibe. It's also interesting to note how this is exactly why so many people dislike God. They don't want an omniscient, omnipotent being watching their every move. Let's be honest, it's a struggle for all of us, even the most fervently religious. That is, unless we're too arrogant to admit there are aspects of our lives we don't want God to see. Because, as the song declares, he sees every bond you break. And if we're honest, we know we break our bond with God, often. If you don't agree, then you're not being honest with yourself. That's why Psalm 25 has such relevance for our Sunday's struggles. We want God to see us when we're at our Sunday best, but not on our frivolous Fridays or sinful Saturdays. But he sees us everywhere and every when, even in the deepest, darkest corner of our soul where we try to hide our secret thoughts from him. We need to be like David who looked to God to pluck his feet out of the net, Psalm 25, 15. Then David begged the Lord to keep his eyes on him to guard and rescue him from his enemies, Psalm 25, 16 through 19. Included in that rescue was the need for God to forgive all his sins, Psalm 25, 18. David knew God's heart ached for him and embraced the reality. He belonged to God. Asking God to see us when we need to be rescued invites him to see what we need to be rescued from, as well as why we were there in the first place. We can't have the rescue if we refuse to admit our sin and repent. But embracing reality allows us to let go of the lie that we've hidden our sin from him and start on the path toward forgiveness and redemption. Will we embrace reality? Will we embrace him. Thank you for watching the Sunday Struggles edition of Morning Minutes in the Bible on An American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClenney helping you have a great day.